Hey, what's up guys? It's Sheriff of Patties. Um, I want to start doing a lot of unboxing videos and the first one I want to touch on is the new Logitech G903. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Logitech. Uh, right now I am rocking the Pro, which I love. Uh, it's definitely for grip. I'd say claw grip more than anything. I'm definitely a hybrid of uh, finger and palm, but recommend it. But right now we're talking about the 903. Um, I won't really go into an in-depth review, but I will say um, that I'm, I know I'm already going to love it because I had the G900 for a while. And the G900 definitely up there um, as far as choices for a lot of pros and streamers. Um, but yeah, let's get right into this. So with this one, the biggest differences is really going to be the fact that um, you now have the power play. Okay, so with that, uh, Logitech just recently introduced... Uh, a new mouse pad where you can actually charge the mouse while you're gaming uh, which is awesome uh, as a huge Logitech fan I unbiasedly say uh, how much they've kind of been at the forefront of uh, wireless gaming uh, when it comes to mice I don't I don't think there's really anyone else that compares to them uh, even for wired really uh, so with the 903 uh, it's just been updated with the power play uh, as well as 50 million clicks so even longer and all those rage inducing moments of uh, player unknown so when we open it up we are greeted to some awesome packaging and uh, right here is the 903 so super lightweight I think for a wireless mouse anyway uh, you got protective film on the bottom for the packaging of course uh, you remove this aggro rock looking thing from global guts and uh, you're greeted to an instruction manual that's really going to go and talk about um, how to connect the power play when it comes out. That's not available yet. Uh, the end of summer is what they're suggesting that it's going to be. And that's going to be $99.99. Um, and this mouse retailed for uh, 40, $149.99. So right here you have your charging cable. Uh, pretty standard affair for Logitech. It's going to have your micro USB. And then it has these little prongs in here that help reduce the likelihood that, if I can get a grip on it, um, that your pro keyboard or your wireless mouse is going to uh, rip apart when you're gaming. So when you really get into a heated moment, uh, these prongs kind of hold everything together if you need to charge it. Uh, right here is super important. Um, while this looks like something you'd keep your contacts in or what your parents gave like when you had the Tooth Fairy, um, with this is the other half of the mouse so you're gonna open this up and right here you're gonna have your weight and the I believe this also connects your power play I'm not too familiar with it yet so let's take a look we're gonna peel this back and so right here it's magnetic you're gonna push this bottom end in and it'll actually pop out if you get it familiar with the G403 it's just like that um, so if you want to have a heavier mouse, then all you need to do is actually get myself situated here. It goes in one way and you're just gonna put it in just like that. Okay. And from there, it's going to snap in. And additionally with the, the right and left, of course, um, you have your wheel which right here, this button, allows you to have it as a clicking motion. So if you want to have it slow or press it in, and you can have it in a fast motion, okay? And oddly enough, um, if I'm waiting on a load screen, like the bearing on this thing's insane, and it ends up turning into a toy. So it's, it's like your damn spinners that all these kids are playing with. Um, right here is your DPI up and DPI down. So um, if you're super crazy about DPI, uh, you can definitely program that within the Logitech gaming software. Uh, right here is your on off button. Um, and then of course the Logitech uh, what 3366 optical sensor, which is by far the best in the industry. I think I remember seeing something where it's even faster than um, the infamous Razer uh, Death Adder, which is a great mouse in itself. And I feel like it's kind of kept Razer in the game. Um, but I think this is actually faster. I'd have to double check. If I do find it, I'll leave a link at the bottom. Um, so yeah, this is your 903. 
Uh, and then if you're right or left-handed, this works perfectly. What's the word? Ambidextrix? No, I totally butchered that. So yeah, I'll get made fun of there. But you can do either option. And uh, right here, you can actually pull the buttons off. So if you don't feel like using side buttons, like a lot of people don't, because if you end up putting something here in game, um, it can change your grip because then you're conscious about using these buttons. Uh, to, so to some people, it's not cool. Others, it is. Um, but yeah, you have this option here. And if you don't want it, you're going to peel these off. You're going to grab what's included here. It's like a bumper. So it kind of uh, replaces the buttons and doesn't offer any contact. So that way you can't accidentally hit something. And you're just going to simply magnetically throw that on there. And now you don't have any buttons on the side. So, and you can either rock um, no buttons on both sides. You can do two buttons here or two buttons here. Or if you're into uh, anything that requires a lot of buttons and you don't want to stress your left hand, uh, you can rock them on both sides. So, um, I don't know, I don't have this hooked up, but if I turn it on, yeah, so there's your RG, RGB. Um, you have it on the DPI, and then you have it on the Logitech G logo, okay? So it's pretty simple. I mean, I know a lot of people kind of make fun of the mouse because it's like super alien spaceship gamery. Uh, I get that, but um, it's incredibly comfortable, and it's not obsessed with RGB like the Corsair mice are. Um, keeps everything kind of minimal in that regard. So... Uh, you can either plug the mouse in with this included USB. So you can either put that right into a USB slot on your computer or uh, what I recommend doing is using your cable, plug this on into your computer um, and then you're going to take this dongle right here that has a micro on one end and USB-A on the other and you're actually going to plug it in like, the, like so and then take your Bluetooth receiver right here and plug this in as well. It seems like a lot of steps, but when you crack your own mouse open, you'll see that you're going to connect you three together. So, you know, in this case with me having a desk, of course, plug this in into the computer and then you can have the receiver laying right underneath the monitor like I do. So that way there's like zero likelihood that um, the signal is ever going to have any issues. And uh, regarding the power play, I believe uh, you're just going to plug this end in to the back of the power play module on the mouse pad, and then it'll automatically um, what notify the mouse, I guess you could say. Sorry, had a brain fart there. Um, but yeah, it'll automatically connect to the mouse. So uh, that's really it. Uh, so you got the mouse, the keyboard, um, I'm sorry, the cable. You have your dongle, you have your USB receiver right there, um, your instruction manual, of course, and then you have the additional little case right here if you want to adjust the button. So, like I said, you don't have to. Um, I really don't use them a whole lot, but it's nice having that option. And uh, last but not least, really, um, the texture on this is awesome because it doesn't have that rubber where it gets kind of grimy over time with your natural finger oil. So that's one thing that I really love about this because the G403, while that's also a fantastic mouse, um, it has like a rubberized texture a little bit. And uh, with that, I just kind of worry that over time, you know, all that Cheeto dust is going to build up on there. And it's not going to happen with the G903. So I got mine at Best Buy. Um, they just came out this week in retail shelves. Uh, so definitely pick yours up if you're looking for a really good mouse especially uh, in the means of like shooters where you don't need to have like a bunch of macros or anything like that um, this is super super awesome um, lightweight everything I mean I could I guess I could go on and on I don't want to review it I just kind of want to show you guys the internals the unboxings on it um, but other than that if you guys have any questions I'll do what I can to try to help you guys out especially if you're looking for like a good mouse because I, uh, I have quite a few of them but uh, other than that you guys take care and have a good 4th of July